Every year, the construction industry produces about 8% of all global carbon emissions. That's more than all the cars combined in the world. Concrete has been the go-to building material for over a century. It's strong, reliable, but comes with a significant environmental cost. Today, engineered timber is offering a compelling alternative. It's fast to build with, environmentally friendly, and yes, it's strong enough for modern construction. Timber buildings store carbon instead of producing it. Each cubic meter of timber locks away about a ton of CO2. When you multiply that across an entire skyscraper, the numbers get pretty impressive. Advances in engineering have made it possible to build taller and stronger with timber than ever before. Cross-laminated timber, CLT, and glue-laminated timber, glulam, have transformed the possibilities of wooden structures. These engineered products offer superior strength, dimensional stability, and versatility in design that rivals traditional concrete construction. In today's video, we're going to take a look at 10 of the tallest timber buildings around the world. First on our list is Ascent MKE in Milwaukee, USA. At 86.6 meters or 284 feet tall, this is the world's tallest timber building in the world. Numbers tell the real story here. 25 floors, 259 apartments, 273,000 square feet of engineered wood. But what these numbers don't tell you is how this building is changing construction in North America. The developers started with the plans back in 2018, originally thinking they'd build 21 floors. But as they went along, they thought, you know what? Let's add four more. So now we've got this 25-story beauty that opened its doors in July 2022. The team used prefabricated sections, which meant fewer trucks on site and less disruption to the neighborhood. They used glulam beams and cross-laminated timber, which are engineered wood products designed to be much stronger than regular lumber. These materials allow engineers to build taller structures while still keeping things lightweight and environmentally friendly. The wood in this one building stores as much carbon as taking 2,400 cars off the road for a year. The inside of Ascent is like any other luxury apartment building. There's a pool on the sixth floor. The top floor has views of Lake Michigan. And if you're wondering about safety, especially fire safety, don't worry. Mass timber actually performs quite well under fire conditions because it chars on the outside while maintaining its structural integrity on the inside. So despite being made mostly out of wood, Ascent meets all modern safety standards. Next up, we're heading over to Europe to check out Mjøstornet in Brumendal, Norway. Now, before Ascent MKE came along, this was the reigning champion of tall timber buildings, standing at 85.4 meters, 280 feet. It was completed in 2019 and is still Europe's tallest wooden structure. The construction team worked in stages, building four floors at a time. They used two types of wood products. First, glued laminated timber for the columns and beams. That's wood layers pressed and glued together. Second, cross-laminated timber for the elevator shafts. The building packs a lot into its 18 floors. There are 33 apartments with balconies, 72 hotel rooms, offices, and a restaurant on the ground floor. They even added a swimming pool and a rooftop terrace with views of Lake Miosa, which makes for some pretty stunning views if you're lucky enough to visit. The construction team kept things local. Most of the wood comes from forests around Brumendal, the small Norwegian town where the building stands. Makes sense, as Brumendal is known for its forestry and wood processing industry. Norway has been big on promoting its timber industry, and Mjøstornet is kind of like their crown jewel in that effort. Moving on to Vienna, Austria, we've got Hoho Tower standing at 84 meters, 276 feet. What makes Hoho unique is that it uses a combination of timber and concrete in its structure, what's known as a hybrid design. About 75% of Hoho is made from timber, while concrete is used strategically for added stability in areas like the core of the building. This hybrid approach allows engineers to take advantage of both materials' strengths, wood for sustainability, 
and concrete for extra support where needed. The building opened in 2019, and it's packed with different spaces. There are apartments where people live, offices where they work, a hotel for visitors, restaurants, and even health centers. All of this takes up 25,000 square meters. That's about the size of three football fields. All the trees used to build Hoho Vienna grow back in Austrian forests just an hour away from the building site. The building earned two major environmental certifications, LEED Gold and a near-perfect score from Austria's Sustainable Building Council, 924 out of 1,000 points. Next on our list is Sarah Kulterhus in Skelleftia, Sweden, a 20-story building that combines culture with cutting-edge architecture, named after Sarah Lidman, a famous Swedish author from the area. Standing at 72.8 meters, 239 feet, this structure was completed in 2021 and serves as both a cultural center and hotel. This building is another example of hybrid construction with a mix of timber, concrete, and steel. Let's look at what's inside this building. There are six theater stages, a city library, two art galleries, and a 205-room hotel called The Wood Hotel. At the very top, you'll find a restaurant with panoramic windows looking out over the Swedish forests where the building's wood came from. The builders used 12,200 cubic meters of wood, all harvested within 60 kilometers of the building site. Local factories turned this wood into building parts, keeping everything close to home. This wood stores 9,000 tons of carbon dioxide. That's equal to the emissions from about 13,500 flights between Stockholm and New York. It also uses 40% less energy than Swedish building rules require. Solar panels on the roof help power everything, and the whole building runs on 100% renewable energy. Moving on to Rotterdam in the Netherlands, we've got De Carol Dorman standing at 70.5 meters, 231 feet. This building sits on top of another building. Let me explain how this works. In 1948, Rotterdam built the Ter Mulen Shopping Center. Instead of tearing it down in 2006, they decided to do something different. They restored the old building and added 16 new floors on top of it. The new addition includes 114 apartments and 156 parking spaces. For the additional floors, they used a combination of steel and wood instead of concrete. Each square meter of floor weighs just 250 kilograms. That's one-fifth the weight of a normal building. They added two concrete elevator shafts that help keep the whole structure stable. Between the two towers at 40 meters high, there's a rooftop garden. The environmental impact is worth noting. By not demolishing the old building, they prevented 15,000 tons of concrete from going to waste. While it might not be as flashy as some newer projects on our list, De Carol Dorman deserves credit for paving the way for future tall timber buildings across Europe. The project won several awards, including Building of the Year in 2013, proving that sometimes the best solution isn't tearing down old buildings, but building on top of them. Next up is 55 South Bank, a mixed-use building located in Melbourne that stands at 69.7 meters, 229 feet. Like many other tall wooden buildings on our list today, it uses a hybrid system combining both timber and concrete for added stability while still reducing overall carbon emissions compared to traditional construction methods. They took a regular six-story concrete building from 1989 and added 10 new floors on top, all made from wood. The original building wasn't designed to hold extra floors. A normal concrete extension would have been too heavy. They could only add five floors max. But wood changed everything. Since timber weighs just 20% of what concrete does, they doubled the extension to 10 floors. The timber in this building stores 4,200 tons of carbon dioxide, similar to what we saw with Mustornit and Sarah Kulterhus. Like those buildings, all the timber comes from certified sustainable forests. Inside those new floors, 
you'll find 220 hotel rooms run by Adina Hotels. But here's where things get really interesting. They built entire hotel bathrooms and factories and brought them in ready to install. This meant less time spent building on site, fewer trucks in Melbourne's busy streets, and a faster construction timeline. The building had its challenges. The team had to figure out how to handle floor movement and how to connect the wooden structure to the existing concrete building. They solved this by creating special connection points and carefully planning how each piece would fit together. The outside is covered with glass and curved aluminum panels, creating this smooth connection between old and new parts of the building. The project won a major award in 2022 from the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, marking it as one of the most innovative building renovations in the world. Now, let's talk about Brock Commons Tallwood House in Vancouver, a building that set records not just for its height, but for speed. Brock Commons stands at 57.9 meters, but what really sets this project apart is how fast they built it. The entire structure went up in less than 70 days. The building houses more than 400 students in different types of rooms, from studios to four-bedroom units. The ground floor has study and social spaces, and there's a student lounge on the top floor with some pretty nice views of Vancouver. The structure combines different materials smartly. The ground floor and two central cores use concrete, while the upper 17 floors use a wood structure. The columns are made of glued laminated timber, and the floors use five-layer cross-laminated timber panels. The wood in this building stores enough carbon equal to taking 511 cars off the road for a year. That's more than 2,400 metric tons of carbon dioxide locked away in the structure. Next up is Hyperion, a residential tower located in Bordeaux, France, standing at 55 meters, 180 feet. Completed in 2021, Hyperion is another example of a hybrid timber building, combining wood with concrete and steel for added structural support. The first three floors and the central core are concrete, similar to what we saw in previous projects. The rest of the 16 floors use local wood, creating 98 apartments that circle around this concrete spine. The builders used 1,400 cubic meters of solid wood, all sourced from nearby forests. This wood stores 1,000 tons of carbon dioxide. That's equal to nine years of energy use for a building this size. The project won multiple awards, including the BIM door in 2019, for how they managed the prefabricated parts and tracked the building's carbon footprint. What's interesting about Hyperion is that it's part of a larger push in France to incorporate more sustainable materials into urban housing projects. The building's design focuses on reducing its environmental impact while still providing modern, comfortable living spaces for residents. The use of timber here not only helps with sustainability, but also gives the building a warm, natural aesthetic that stands out in Bordeaux's skyline. Now let's head over to Finland to check out Hoas Tuliniri in Espo. This residential building stands at 44 meters, 144 feet, and was completed in 2021 as part of Finland's ongoing efforts to promote sustainable housing solutions. It's the world's tallest wooden residential building made from pre-built room modules, Host to Liniti is an all-timber structure. Let's look at what's inside this 13-story building. There are 165 apartments, mostly studios for students, spread across 4,433 square meters. The building includes common areas like laundry rooms, saunas, and social spaces, everything students need. Here's what makes this building special. Every apartment arrived at the site nearly finished, the rooms were built in a factory in Kumo, Finland, complete with surface materials, fixtures, and even household appliances already installed. Think of it like shipping entire homes and stacking them together. The outside of the building tells its own story. The facade uses two types of wooden panels, light-colored plata panels and dark gray topcoat panels. The wood 
got special treatment in the factory that protects it from weather, moisture, and sunlight for 15 years without needing a new coat of paint. Finally, let's talk about Dalston Works in London. This building may not be the tallest on our list, standing at just under 34 meters, 111 feet, but it's still an important project when it comes to timber construction. Completed in 2017, Dalston Works was one of the first large-scale timber buildings in London and helped pave the way for future projects across the city. The building is made entirely out of cross-laminated timber, which makes it lighter and quicker to construct compared to traditional materials. Dalston Works houses residential apartments and commercial spaces, making it a great example of how timber can be used effectively in mixed-use developments within dense urban environments like London. The building has 10 stories, 121 apartments, 1,500 square meters of restaurant and retail space, and 3,500 square meters of workspace. From the outside, you might not guess this is a wooden building. They covered the wood with brick to match the older buildings in the neighborhood. But inside, the structure is almost entirely wood, from the walls to the stairs, even the elevator core. So, what do you think? Are we going to see even taller wooden skyscrapers in the near future? Or do you think there are limits to how far we can take timber construction? Let us know your thoughts down below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you soon.